Friends and family of Aaron J. Danielson have gathered in Vancouver today to honor him. Danielson was killed last Saturday night in downtown Portland. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez is live at Esther Park, where people are now holding a candlelight vigil in his honor. Bridget? Well, there's still quite a few people here to honor Aaron Danielson, who went by Jay. I'll step out of the way so you can see there's still a pretty decent group out here. And that candlelight vigil hasn't started just yet, but people are getting ready. We've seen a couple people walk by with candles for that. But this memorial has been going on since this afternoon. Hundreds of people gathered to remember Aaron J. Danielson in Vancouver. He was killed on August 29th in downtown Portland. I was watching the moment those two shots rang out. Those two shots that have been heard around the world. I never did imagine that just turning on a live video, I would watch the execution and murder of our friend. We lost somebody in the, the riots in Portland this week. His name was Jay and we're just here on, on behalf of him. Friends say they want people to know who Jay really was. He was kind and he was a helpful person. He, when we were doing all this stuff, he's one of the guys that would you know, bring things in and bring things out. He was a, just a kind person. Everybody liked him. The group erupting in applause as friends shared stories of Danielson. Jay was not a white supremacist. Jay was not a fascist. Jay was a proud American. Amen. Jay loved his country. Friends say they're grateful for the support of so many who came out to honor him. It's it's overwhelming. I mean, I this is more than we've ever had for any other any other time we've gotten together by probably a factor of five. The group Patriot Prayer calling on local and state leaders to apologize to the Danielson family. They didn't even know who Jay was. They just judged him. Okay? So we want apology from Ted Wheeler. At the very least. You guys agree with that? Kate Brown needs to apologize to the family and her response and calling him a white supremacist.